Okay. How you coming over there, Roland? I'm doing good. I got it all clean. Good Pretty deal. clean. You get that's your side of the boat. You're fishing out that right. side of the boat. So if you want to look good, uh, if you want to look good, good. you better have it looking good. That's the thing. I want to look better than Jimmy. That's 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 the key here. In, in fact, I want to fish better than Jimmy. Well, that's, that's the other thing I want to do. In <laughs> fact, I want to cast better than Jimmy. That's the other thing. I don't know if I can accomplish all that between the looks, the cast, and the fish, but I'm trying. Well, you you might get me on the looks. You might get me on the catching fish. You definitely can't cast as good as I can. I know that for a fact. Hey, guys and girls, when we can get this boat cleaned up. Roland and I are going fishing. Roland Martin, my longtime buddy, Roland Martin out there. I think's the best bass fisherman tournament bass fisherman ever. And uh, he's won like nine angler of the year titles or something. Between actually, and I've told you this before, but between Chris and Roland and I, we won 18, 18 bass uh, angler of the year titles. Chris won seven, Roland won nine, and I won all the rest of them. <laughs> two, two. Hey, I know a lot of guys. That's pretty good, though. Hey, I know a lot of guys that won two. <laughs> you know, there's only, a, uh, there's only a couple people, though, in the whole industry that's ever won more than one. Yeah, it's... It's only, what, five or six people, right? Pretty amazing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I was tickled to win one, and I was just like, couldn't believe well, it when tickled, I won another one. I was tickled to win in one, and then... And then another one, and then another one, and another one, and another one. Still, I was still proud of them. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm proud for you, man. And my Mercury motor's you know, a little dirty, too. Spray my motor off back here, too. This is glass cleaner is all it is. It's all I'm spraying on here. That works really good. <laughs> Well, I don't know, Jimmy, if I can beat you or not. I'm going to try. We're going to have a challenge here in a minute. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when I'm fishing with Jimmy, it's just, it, 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 it's something, it's innate to me. Hey, I want to beat hey, that guy. Hey. I, I sometimes beat him, I sometimes you wipe don't. And, can you wipe and talk but, at the but, same but time? I, but it's just fun to beat him. I just love it. I don't beat you all the time. Hey, wipe it up. <laughs> You haven't beat me yet today either, pal. You might. <laughs> we were going early this morning, and uh, it's pouring down rain. We got a big rain. It's hot right now. It's going to hey, be a know, cool front coming in here. That's going to be good. An overcast is going to be a good thing for me because I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do the frog. He'll be throwing a. He'll throw a frog. He'll throw a frog. He'll throw a sinking worm, I'm and gonna, he will throw a chatterbait. And I'll throw everything else in the world. I, yeah, I got to show you that new mimic bait I've been oh, catching. Oh, really light them up. All right. You know, Roland, what you could do after a while while I'm having lunch is you could put that rack together. You see that rack right there? That's a big 10,000 pound rack. And I want to set it right here. So you reckon you could put that together while I'm uh, having lunch? Okay. <laughs> Well, I think these storms that are coming through now, like that one, that half inch, that was a half inch rain pretty quick. It didn't yeah. take too long. Wind will mess that up. It's a deer. Look, baby, a deer. Baby deer. A deer. A deer. Baby Jimmy, deer. Jimmy, Jimmy, a deer. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Don't see many deer around my house. <laughs> I've only seen 200 deer today. <laughs> doesn't take much to excite you, does it? <laughs> a doe. A deer. A female deer. Ray. Ray Scott? A pocket full of sun. No, Ray. Okay. Ray Scott? No, a pocket full of sun. <laughs> a drop of golden sun. <laughs> what is it? Is that it? Is a drop of golden sun? A drop of golden sun. A drop of golden sun. Here, I'll do it soon again. A doe. A, a deer, deer. A female deer. A ray. A pocket full of sun. No, what is it? No. <laughs> a, a drop of golden sun. A drop of golden sun. A drop of golden sun. <laughs> A ray, a pot, a drop of golden sun. Ray, Ray Scott. Ray. <laughs> Look at that old man. Look at him. He made a cast. He's walking in. He was 25 foot from the water when he threw it out there. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Yeah, you're ahead, all right. <laughs> now there's three things here: the first fish, the biggest fish, and the most fish. What? 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 The first deal. There's three things. To, three things to win: the first fish, the most fish. What do you win? What's the prize? Pride. <laughs> you win pride. Beating Jimmy Houston hey. is pride. Hey. That's the pr ultimate hey. prize. Hey. It's, hey. It's, will you shut up and listen to me? 
what's the what's the penalty for fishing before the tournament starts? I didn't know we had a tournament. It's just a day's fishing, right? Well, that's the what day. is the penalty for fishing hey. while the other guy's up here turning on the power, because he's, getting the boat ready, he's polishing the boat? Nut. He's a dumb nut for doing that because I got to the lake and I took advantage of the lake and went fishing right away. Get in the boat, Bobby. Get in the boat, Bobby. <laughs> that somebody that's 112 years old and has fished all his life would put the drain plug in a boat, wouldn't you? Huh? I mean, you just think that, you know? I'm, I'm good. Ah! So you put the boat in the water without the drain plug. Not a very big snappers, one. They, they have a season. On mangroves, I don't think they do. That's not a very big one there, is it? Nah. Just about a pound and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe two pounds. Yeah, two pounder maybe. He's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, me too. He was so far away, I hit. <laughs> he was a long yeah, way to get, out to there. To compete with Jimmy, you got to make a 300-foot cast. Because <laughs> he's, he's way out there in front. So he's running the boat and getting all the first cast, so I gotta get ahead of him. <laughs> I got a plug that'll throw about a mile. That's the only way to compete with Jimmy. Put lots of line on. Lots of line. A big Hard heavy, cast. big heavy lure. Big heavy lure. And hold your mouth right. Yep. See, and I'm gonna go right back and get another one. Sometimes sometimes they're bigger than I think they are, but not, they, they hit that bait, and sometimes they hit it real hard, other times they don't hit it very hard. And they're, they, you get them up by close to the boat, and they're bigger than you think. How big is he? Oh, he's yeah, not he's not bad. big, but he's not bad. Two he's fat. That's a, I love that color. Look at that. They're just grabbing it right on the very end. Really is something. You got to be careful with treble hooks. Even even though I got the barb smashed down, I, I'm careful because they they hurt. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> Roland's getting a lot of bites and I'm catching fish, but that's okay. Roland likes to get bit. <laughs> I get bit a lot. Hey, he's getting bit a lot. They're, they're, they're biting that top water a lot. I'm telling you, they hit this bait. It's not a giant, but it's just another nice fish. Yeah. Now he's got all the hooks in him. He's got all the hooks in him. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. The other hook come, come unbuttoned there. But, and he end up just in the end. This bait that I'm using, this bait that I'm using, is called a, a trolling motor running. It's called a mimic impersonator. It's made right here in Oklahoma. And it's actually a clear bait with an insert. You see this right here? This is an insert you slide down in there. It's called a mimic impersonator because it can impersonate anything. Now, I got it impersonating a shad right now. It's got a shad colored insert. You put a crawfish, a bluegill, a crappie, a baby bass, uh, you know, chartreuse, orange, red, red crawfish, anything you want in there. They're little inserts, and I, I got, I got some of them right here. I'm just, just to show you. This is my mimic box, just to show you what we're doing here. This is the way the bait comes, without an insert in it. These are the inserts that you put in the bait. You can actually get a white one that's just solid white, paint it up any way you want it, any color you want. Uh, I even got a color that's a. Uh, I caught fish on, it's American flag. You know what I feel about America. Make America great. There's a camouflage color. <laughs> you know, and all kinds of different colors you put in there. And you can see what happens when you put the color in there, how, what a beautiful bait it becomes. And this bait, this bait is a sinking bait. It's kind of like a, a rattle trap or a hot spot or a rattle bait, a uh, lipless crank bait, except it's got a little lip on it. And the eye tie eyes in the front, and it's got a real wide wobble. I mean, it just like wobbles back and forth real wide. And, uh, and it just, see the way that insert is? Now I'll show you in a minute a little trick on those inserts uh, to make them where they won't come out on you. All right. <clears throat> Call that shot. He did, that was good. That was Call good. that shot. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty nice fish. Not a giant, but pretty nice. Ah. Oh, I throwed my bait out. Oh my goodness, he's got it deep too. 
got it kind of deep. That was a good shot. Got to get that out of him. That's the good thing about marvelous hooks, though. You can usually, if you can get a hold of those down there and turn them, because there's no barb on there, it'll usually pop right out of there. I got a strike. Uh, I got a strike on the, on the, yeah, my motor. You got him? Yeah, it's a small one. I'm telling you, there's liable to be a bunch of them right there rolling in that well, spot. Well, my other lure's hung up in the tree, so I, I took this hardtail grub and I threw it out there. There's liable to be a bunch of them. I had a lucky creature on there on that one. And I uh, put the old hardtail grub. Let's see if I can find me another one in there. I got plenty of swim baits there. This is a little guy. Yeah, wait. Big now, he got bigger all of a sudden. That's a big one. Look at that. He grew. <laughs> He's got a big one. On Did you see how he was coming in? Yeah. He was just swimming right to the boat. And he's a pretty nice one. He's Dang a, right. He's a real big one. It's the biggest one we've had all day. Oh, oh come on. Did you have a fish on? <laughs> did you hit? Did you? <laughs> Why any kind of partner would have got down there and got that five pounder for me? Jeez, Roland, I can't believe I you let me lose you. that did fish. You, did you have one to bite? Oh, <laughs> you got one too. Dang, there's a five pound fish. I suppose that one's a five pounder too, huh? No. Huh? But <clears throat> hey. Bigger than the one you got in the boat. Hey, hey, the barbless hook rule. <laughs> you, you get them up to the boat like that, you, you count them as a catch. I'm telling you. Huh? So what, I, what I have is I have a weedless, see there's a lot of grass here. So I'm taking this, this weedless bait <sighs> and I have it on a screw lock system. And, uh, and so the screw lock Golly, the barbless hook rule, barbless hook rule, if you get them up to the boat like that where you can see them, it counts as a catch. So that is officially the largest fish of the day. And what do you think he weighed? I think that weighed six pounds. Six pounds, I'm thinking five and three quarters. Big one, I don't know, I got a big one. The big one? I might have yours. Well, he acts like a big one, it's bigger. Huh? And uh, I got one. I got a bigger one. I, they're just mean. They're just mean. I bet mine's bigger than yours. I bet mine's bigger than yours. You got a big one? No. He, I don't have a big one. He's bigger than yours. I'll try, I'll try this again. <laughs> hey, pull away from that tree. Pull away from that tree. You're going you're gonna to spook him. Get, 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 get out of there. Get out of there. There's a school I will, there. I will, I will, I get will, I will. Roland gets upset when I catch fish bigger than him. No, it's just getting on top of the school. Mm. You need to get spot locked up ahead. You're right over the top of the school. The school's right here, and you get the boat on top of them. I had one over four pounds on a spinnerbait. Oh, really? I got one. Yep. Well, he hit right there. That's a nice fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Boy, he come, fish. He come up out of that tree, didn't he? Popper, popper. He did. Yeah, that's a good he one right there. Hitting open water. That's your biggest one of the day. Yeah, biggest one, but not as big as some I've seen. I've no. actually had a couple chase this plug no. that were bigger than this. That's a nice this one. It's bad. That's a nice but one. We had bigger fish to come after it, and they wouldn't get it. But that looks like a male. Yes, Jimmy. That might be yes, the that... one of the day so far. No, the big fish of the day is six pounds. But you didn't get it. Well, I I got it. Hey, 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 hey! It's a barbless hook deal. It's a Tell barbless what, hook. I had one eight pounds roll up at mine. Well, roll don't up count don't that. count. Roll up don't count. You got to get them up to the boat, close enough you can see it. Don't count if you jump up and hit your topwater bait. Jeez, a little swim bait. Big one. Well, uh, the last one I had, I said it was a little one, and it ended up being the biggest one of the day. This is just a nice one. Just a nice one. Another good one. He ate that thing. Golly, where is that bait? Oh, that's not that bad. Hooked over here on the side. Uh. Thought he had a crawfish pincher sticking out of his mouth, but he didn't. That's a sign of good health. Crawfish yeah. pincher oh, sticking yeah. out. Oh, yeah. This is what we're fishing right here a lot. A lot of our fish. This is coontail moss is what it is. And... Uh, I Canelli said the way you can tell coontail moss, he said it kind of looks like a feather. 
and it smells like money. <laughs> that might be one of the <clears throat> only things that Ike said that I can use, but looks like, like it looks like a little bit like a feather, and it smells like money. There's a strike. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here a little bit deeper water, see if we can catch a big one. Drop these baits down a little deeper. And swim bait time. I thought I'd catch bigger ones on that uh, plastic, but all I caught was small ones on that, too. We moved deeper and they got smaller. <laughs> okay. Okay. Throw it out. I kind of counted down a little bit because I got a weight on here and I can get it down about five or six feet. There's one. There's one. That one wasn't very deep. I mean, I, I was trying to let it drop a little bit and it didn't drop very far at all, and he got it. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. Is it? Roland, you think you're taking them on a water ski trip. You're supposed to play with them. These are female fish. Play with them a little bit. Have a little fun. Look at that. What I'm talking about. Of course, it appears that the fish I'm catching are quite a bit larger than the fish that you're catching. I'm just saying. Well, at least I'm thinking they are. Well, that one got hooked all over his face. But with barbless hooks, even in that spot right there, should be fairly easy to get out. If I can get it pointed back around, coming out the right direction. There we go. <laughs> that fish is pretty shallow. But we're getting, we're finally getting a little bit closer to the evening time. Yeah. And uh, I think the fish That's are. That's when the big ones are going to bite? I, well, I think they're coming out of some of this grass. I don't know. Okay. I, I hope some bigger ones bite. Big one? Yeah. He's under that tree. I don't know if I'll ever get him up or not. No, he's, he's not a giant, but he's pretty nice. Another one, another one on that hydro tail worm. Well, that's a pretty fish, isn't it? Ah. Worm come off. Got a little parasite inside his mouth. Do you see that right there? You see that little parasite there? When I see those on fish, you see that? Now, it doesn't hurt anything. When I see it, it's in the summertime when you find them. They're just a little parasite. A little leech looking thing. A little leech looking thing. Look at there how, 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 how he's fastened on. I just That's get him leech. off of there. It's a leech. Yeah, a little leech. That was hard. That's a hard place to get a fish out of. Yeah. Where'd my worm go? Golly. Good one? He sure feels like a good one. Golly. If he's not underneath something or something, he's a big one. He might be in the grass, I don't know. He's really, yeah, that's a nice one. I think he is underneath something. No, he's just strong. This fish is amazingly strong. He jumped completely out of the water. Yeah, he's amazingly right. strong. I mean, amazingly strong. He's not, not like the biggest fish in the lake. Well, you, get, you keep getting your line wrapped around my line. What is it? Huh? You, you got a line? To, huh? What you got? I got an alligator. <laughs> I got a big old fish on there, man. Look at that. Look at that guy pull. Oh, yeah. He's not He's not a, like a 10-pounder, but it's a big old fish. He's a good fish. That's God, good that fish. fish was so incredibly okay. strong. Oh. Can't imagine That's how good one. Look strong. at that, guys. I Can't tell you what, folks. Oh, he got away. We figured him out. Got away. We figured him out. Way to go, Jimmy. Ah. What a fish. Ah. That's a good one. Ah. I was really kind of hoping I lost him. Look at look at that barbless hook. He just barely hooked. I almost lost him when he went back in the water there. That's a seven or eight pounder. I mean, it's a it's a big fish. It's not it's not nine or ten pounds, but that's a big, healthy, fat fish. I got one. I got a good one. Yes, sir. You got a big one? Oh, pretty good. I'm gonna turn this one back. It's not as big as yours. No, mine not as good as yours. I tell you what, we figured out some pretty good fish today. 
We started off with some top water fish. We started <laughs> off with, with some. Robin's uh, got a fish on there. <laughs> started off with a little bit of everything. Ended up with I some need a worms. Bigger boat. That's a nice fish. Yeah. But the point is. Okay, we want to see about I the big, the, big I fish. You big fish the big of the day. Fish. I don't know who caught the most, about the same, but I caught the first. You caught the first. And I think the most is a tie, so kind of like, we'll let them figure out who won, right? Uh, a Roland Martin Jimmy Houston I'll challenge of hey, the legend. Hey, but you'll have to admit, I did have on the top order a couple of You had them. You I had, had a couple big, of that Hey, so it was, a great, it was a great trip for me. Hey, and thanks, Jimmy. Hey, and folks, come on down to southern Oklahoma. <laughs> And you can catch a big fish too. Arbuckle, Lake. Oh, this is some of the other lakes around here. What, there's you get like ten big like lakes. Like Arbuckle, Lake Murray, oh, right here close. Oh, fantastic fish. Both in tremendous lake, Lake Texoma, pretty close. So folks, we'll but, see you again next week. And Ooh, by the way, so, by the way, folks, you know if you if you're on uh, if you're on our, our Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel, get on Roland Martin Outdoors. He's got 150,000 or something on Jimmy on the Roland Martin Outdoors. <laughs> And uh, get on his YouTube channel Thank also. You. I appreciate it. It's a good one. It's a good one. I, I watch. I watch it myself. I learn. Well, Jimmy, I learn Jimmy's lot. catching up. I, he is I really catching up quick. That's a good deal. We'll Way see to go, you again dude. Soon. Way to go, <laughs>